Now, according to a survey, young people in Kent can't enjoy Christmas without social media. The Children's Society asked more than a thousand people aged 13 to 17 and found a fifth who looked at social media at Christmas said friends were having a better time. But what do you think young people, why do you think young people can't enjoy Christmas without social media? We asked shoppers in Rochester. Because it's so much the done thing now and everybody, they're so used to it, it's second nature. They don't even realise how much they depend on it and it's a big part of their life. Well, I mean, like any day of the year, everything has to be shared on social media to, to really validate your existence. So um, Christmas Day of all days is a time when, yeah, showing other people just what a fabulous time you're having is, uh, is extremely important. Uh, social media, I think there's a big trust element of social media. Um, and I think at Christmas, the, the trouble is nowadays, you know, that trust element is, is really hard to find in people nowadays. I think because... They can't see a life beyond it sometimes. They've got to be with their face in the phone or on an iPad or something all the time. Um, I think they're sold the idea that it's communicative and sociable, and but it's like uh, sugar or nicotine. And you need more and more of it to try and fulfil a, a thing that it'll never fulfil. I think they rely on it heavily um, as a form of communication as well, but also to get across the, um, the trust issues that people seem to have nowadays. Um, there's not enough love going about, I don't think. Shoppers in Rochester there. But what do you think? Why do you think young people can't enjoy Christmas without social media? Join the conversation online using the hashtag Kent Says. Now to talk a little bit more about this, I'm joined by social media expert Zoe Kent. So first of all, Zoe, so the, the survey's been done by the Children's Society saying one in four children say they can't get through Christmas without social media. Yeah. What do you make of that? Well, it's where their friends they are all online. They've probably broken up from school or college or university. You know, they've all gone off in their, their individual groups and they want to keep in touch with each other and let each other know what they're doing over Christmas. And it's just that keeping in touch and keeping engaged with one another. Because that's the thing, isn't it? People um, say that social media is for looking at news stories or looking at various bits of information, but it is about staying connected, isn't it? It's about staying connected. It's about keeping up to date with what everyone else is doing. What's, how's everyone else's Christmas going? What's the latest news? and trends as well. What's everyone talking about right now? Because mm -hmm. definitely at Christmas I've found that sometimes there might be four or five people in the room but you all might have your your phone, your phone yeah, you don't talk to each other. Do you think other. you maybe get a pot and put all the phones in there and talk to each God, other? That would be good and play a game of charades instead of on your phones. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about me. But um, what about uh, at Christmas? You said about trends there. What do you think we might be seeing a, a little bit of over the Christmas period? Well, I'm going to be talking about the Queen's speech or some soaps. Um, if it's a younger generation, it might be Doctor Who. Um, just things that are actually trending online. When they go on there and they start seeing a hashtag, it could be bored of Christmas food or bored at Christmas, or it could even be what fun you're having at Christmas. As soon as that thing's trending, that hashtag's trending, it's then that they can jump on and start engaging with each other. There's something in common that they've got to talk about. Now, the survey is talking about young people. Yeah. Uh, one in four young people can't survive without it, but surely it applies to lots of people. It seems that most age groups seem to be using social media these days. Many age groups are using social media. Now, the average age on Facebook is over 35. The silver surfers are now all online and engaging with each other. You know, there's so many more internet groups around Kent that we can engage with each other as well and, and learn the new skills. You know, social media is a, a daily habit for most of us now. And obviously it's coming up to the end of the year uh, as well. It's been a big year for social media, lots of things, uh, huge stories uh, being talked about on Twitter and Facebook. What do you think about next year? Do you think it's going to be a busy year for social media? Do you think Facebook's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger in the other social yeah, networks? Yeah, I do believe that. You know, Facebook have been talking about VR and AR and today they brought out face recognition on the Facebook app. So there's lots of things that are being done. It's going to be a great year for social media. Because can they carry on innovating like this? It seems that there seems to be a new trend every year. There's a new trend every year. Sometimes pretty much every day there's a new feature they're bringing out. They're testing a lot of things and I think they're just keeping up with other technology that's out there.